I'm Karsten, the Tether Prop, and welcome to the Prop Show. Hello, my friends. Nice to see you again on my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about a new book from the company Ammo. The name from the book is Painting Wargame Tanks from, uh, by Ruben Torangrossa and Mick Jimenez. This one here. Ruben Torangrossa is one of the best Wargame Tanks painters in the world. He has a very nice painting style and also his um, miniatures are looking great. Uh, the 50mm miniatures from Flames of War, the British one, you can find the video on YouTube. It's Amazing! It's a very nice painting style and he tried to explain you how you can do it and you can see it step by step and you can tr trust me if you try it after a while it's going better and better your painting and you can make the same style. On the other side we have Mick Jimenez. He's one of the top scale modellers in the world with his own company, the company Ammo and he tried to develop different weathering styles and he tried to make it easier for people to do the weathering. Uh, if you have the chance to see him live on a convention, he's, he's unbelievable. If he's, when he's doing his de demos, um, he's like a running motor, he's like a diesel. He's talking and talking and try to explain you um, how you can do the weathering better. It's very funny, he's going with so much enthusiasm inside, um, inside a demonstration you must see you must see him live it's very nice I want to switch the camera now and show you what we have inside the book don't run away here we go my friends this is the book Painting Wargaming Tanks by Ruben Toyagrossa and Mick Jimenez. Um, I paid for the book 22 euros. Uh, I think it's... I don't know how much it is in, in pounds, in British pounds or in US dollar. But I think it can't be so much different. Um, yeah, 22 euros. You have a book with um, 96 pages. Every page is colored. Yeah, you have very nice pictures, very sharp pictures. And the quality from the paper, it, 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 this is the right paper what you need if you want a book right on your workbench. It's a thick, glossy paper. If you drop some, I have a little bit of water, if you drop some water on it, um, it's no problem to clean it. You can clean it very fast with a little bit, uh, with, with a little bit paper. No problem. Um, now we want to look a little bit inside. I want to open the book and you have a very interesting forward. I recommend to read this one. If you want to buy the book, read it. Uh, it is interesting. It is uh, written by uh, Ruben Torregrossa. Okay, on the first side you have the index. Uh, you can see the book is split in two parts. The first one is the easy way. And the second one is the advanced way. On the easy way you can paint three different tanks. Uh, you can see how they painted three different tanks. And you have final tips and interesting other things. On the advanced way you have seven different tanks. And uh, on the lower part here, one second. I must zoom it in a little bit. Here we go. You can see you have the key uh, to read the book. There is always on the right side from the picture a box. On the upper part from the box uh, you can see what kind of tool do you need. Inside the box are the paints for the step what do you need and you have an explanatory text. How you can how do you use the colors or what you have to do. And on this side from the index you can see what they mean. Uh, if you see a small brush they mean a fine brush, if you see a little bit bigger brush they mean a medium brush or uh, if you must work with an airbrush or different pencils or a flat brush. Um, 
And this is a very interesting part for the book. Quick introduction to materials. Mm, you can see what kind of materials you do you need and for what do you need them. Uh, they're talking about pigments, acrylics, how to work with the acrylics, how to clean an airbrush, how to work with enamels and all colors and they try to explain you how you can do streaking grimes. Um, they go in the book through all the different materials what can be uh, helpful for your tank building and painting. And then we start with the easy way. Like I said before the easy way has only three tanks but you have all the basic stuff inside. I want to show you this one here now on the Sherman. You have the box where you see what kind of color do you need with uh, a text on the side who try to explain you how to do it and it goes down easy to see you have the picture you have your box here your toolbox where you can see what kind of color do you need what kind of technique what kind of tool and how to do it and finally you have a tank ready here the other side Oh, finally you have some final tips before uh, this is what they recommend to do before you st start uh, to read the other part from the book they try to tell you um, to work maybe with different materials or what are some materials and tools who can very helpful for you to paint a tank and after three tanks you come to the point where the advanced way started I want to show you something where the difference is between advanced and easy way on the oh, one second. On the easy way you have a half side, one, two side, and the tank is ready. On the advanced way you see different materials, different techniques, different ways how to paint the highlights. This is an example for a modulation. And you can see he's working with different materials and you need one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five pages. And I think, no, don't have problems with this one. This is, uh, you need, you must uh, spend a little bit more time, but it is not very hard to follow him and to see how it looks like and to have a good looking tank. What I want to say is, it is a difference between painting easy way or advanced way. That's the reason why it calls <laughs> easy way and advanced way. However, um, like I said before, the pictures are very sharp. You can see every step. You can see how you must do it, what kind of uh, material do you need, what kind of washes, what kind of tool do you need. And you have always very nice and sharp pictures you can see a very good result when he's finished with the tank. And like I said, you have seven tanks on the advanced side and three on the easy side. And man, I can't stop reading the book. It's very nice. And it's nice to see how the pictures look like. Very sharp, very nice looking tanks. Whoops. Okay. Uh, no, I switch the camera now because it's not so easy to talk if you have uh, between your legs uh, a camera. <laughs> so, this book, 22 euro, 96 pages, high quality glossy paper, very nice paper. The pictures are very sharp, high quality pictures, millions of pictures inside. You have a step by step how to paint the paint, how to paint the tank what kind of material do you use and what kind of tool do you need. I can recommend to buy this one if you want to make a step forward in painting your wargap tanks. This book is the right book for you. Um, I hope my review was a little bit helpful for you. I hope you, I hope my, my, my English was not so bad today because it's not so easy for me to talk free. However, it looks like the most people understand me. And don't forget one thing, this book, uh, Painting Wargame Tanks, is 
made for people who want to paint wargame tanks and not scale models. That means these are um, people who want to play maybe they buy the model, uh, the, the wargaming tank on Tuesday and want to play on Saturday with four new tanks. Um, but it looks like for me the company Ammo try to close the gap a little bit more between wargaming and scale modeling and this is what I like because you can do a lot of things with the nice little things. That's all in a moment. I hope I see you next time again. I think next time, I'm not sure, I make maybe next time a video about uh, the new washable colors from Ammo or maybe about uh, a new color set from Ammo for uh, uh, British uh, vehicles 1939 and 1945. I don't know. Must see what, uh, what I can do on the weekend. I'll see you next time again and have a uh, great night. Bye bye.